Um, so I don't really know where this video is going to go. Uh, I have a lot in my brain at the moment. Um, maybe I'll cut this and make it into two different ones. Um, one, some of you know, um, I've been doing a lot of research on the Westboro Baptist Church lately, um, for a couple different reasons, um, of which I guess I could go into real quick. Um, one, I don't understand them, which really bothers me. Um, I have a lot of interest in religious studies and study of beliefs that aren't mine because I know what I believe, but I don't know what other people believe, so I find it very interesting to learn about other people's beliefs. Um, and so I've been doing a lot of research on that, especially since they are primitive Baptists, as Fred Phelps um, says it. I think this is just going to turn into a Westboro Baptist Church video. We're going to go with it. Um, anyways, so he says that they're a primitive Baptist church and they uh, focus on the five points of Calvinism and um, their main target, if you don't know, they protest U.S. soldiers' funerals. They, to they used to protest the funerals of um, people who died from AIDS complications. Um, they've picketed just about everything. Um, actually in May, according to their website, they're going to be doing a picket in Omaha. I'm not quite sure why. I don't quite understand it. I might try and call them at some point. Um, just because I didn't really understand what their website was saying. Uh, if you want to look at it, it's godhatesfags.com, I believe. Godhatesfags.com. Let's check that. Anyway, so they're big believers in that. Um, which, yeah, godhatesfags.com. I don't understand why, well, I didn't understand why they were so hateful now after hours and hours and weeks and weeks, that's their website music, um, of research. Um, you know, I have just been very curious and I've learned a lot about them and um, I find it very interesting and I'm very glad that I know these things now. Um, I'd really love if I could interview someone from their church, maybe um, someone who's closer to my age just because, or not close to my age, that's fine, I don't really care either way. Um, a lot of interviews with them turn into screaming, angry fits of, you're an idiot, and blah blah blah, and I totally understand where people are coming from with that, but I would love to have a conversation that doesn't result in screaming and anger and just, yeah. Um, but I'd love to do that, so Phelps, Phelps Ropers, Ropers, all of your happy little church community there. I would love to have a conversation with any of you via YouTube. Um, that way thoughts can be well thought out um, and spoken clearly and um, I just think that would be, this would be a great way to do that. Um, so yeah, I'd love to, uh, if you're willing to communicate, I'd love to, um, just send me a message. Um, Five Points of Calvinism, the tulip, uh, analogy, total depravity, unconditional election, limited atonement, irresistible grace, and the perseverance of saints. If you don't know what that means, total depravity is original sin, um, unconditional election, it's predetermination predestination, um, limited atonement, God didn't die for everyone, just the elect, irresistible grace, if you're part of the elect, you can't help but follow that, and um, really just, it, it's one that I have a harder time explaining, um, you're called, and you know how to, according to this website, 
directly understand and correctly interpret the Bible. Um, and then perseverance of saints is once saved, always saved. Um, I have a big problem with irresistible grace specifically um, because the Holy Spirit therefore guides and directs them to understand and correctly interpret the Bible. Um, many people throughout history who have had a biblical backing for what they've been doing, which everything from genocide to murder um, to hacking because they were called by God to do it, um, they feel that they have interpreted the Bible correctly into that. And um, so I just have a big problem with the concept of um, irresistible grace because it's very subjective and people are always going to think what they're doing is right for whatever cause and so I just have an issue with that. Um, yeah. Um, I was actually watching a documentary from the BBC and one of the members of the church, I believe his name is Steve, um, he used to be a documentary filmmaker and um, he was saying that how that's not their whole message um, and I would really just like to know what the rest of their message is um, again in a format where it's not going to turn into a screaming fit um, so that's what I think.